It's your boy. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is Keith, also known as Launchpad fourteen twelve. Hopefully, that glare it's not a glare there, and it's not um you know too uh, distracting. But yeah, I'm extremely excited. Extremely excited to show you guys, you know, all of my movies, my DVDs, the TV shows I've collected so far. I still got a long way to glow. Go, <laughs> glow. <laughs> so a long way to go. Um, I've been really collecting since I was probably about probably about 18, 19 years old. I just stopped for a little while, but like a couple months ago, I found out that Best Buy wasn't holding any more physical media, no more DVDs, no more Blu-rays, no more 4Ks. And I was like, oh, no, something just clicked. I said, I got to step my uh, my uh, physical media game up. So then I just started like going on YouTube and watching other people's videos. I'm, I'm like, man, I got to be a part of this community, man. This community is right up my alley. I done watched about 25 to 30 um TV show collections, movie collections, um, steelbook collections, uh, 4K, all that, Blu-ray, anything you can think of. I don't watch about 15 to 20 of them a piece, man, and I, I'm loving it, and I'm trying to join in the fun, man. So with no further ado, I don't know how long this is going to take. With no further ado, I'm going to show you guys, you know, my my collection, man. Just uh, really excited about this. So we're going to start off, and I, I might talk about, you know, how I feel about the shows a little bit, shows and uh, movies just a little bit. We're going to start off with The Batman. I'm not going to lie. Um, I didn't even want to give this show a chance because I was so in love with Batman the Animated Series. I didn't want to see another animated series with Batman in it. I didn't want to give it a shot. My brother, my little brother was like, Yo, you got to give this one a shot, man. And I'm glad I did because I ended up not just loving it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, disclaimer, I guess. I purchase stuff that I like. I don't, it's rarely rare I do a... Um, a blind buy. It's very rare. I think the, I think the only two blind buys I might have in this collection is uh, John Wick 2 and 3. Those might be the only two blind buys, but if I see some other ones, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, I love this series. I, you know, I got season one uh, right here. Season one. I don't know what happened to my season two. I think it's still at my mom's house, but season three, season four, Season five. So I got those there. All right, we got the Justice League. All four seasons of the Justice League. Um, love this series. Epilogue is a genius, um, genius episode. If you if you see Epilogue, you know what I'm talking about. When Batman goes there to save Ace, or well, not necessarily save her, but like help her out. I don't necessarily got to get the details. If you know, you know. So we got season one of that. I love this show. This show was like a like, like a miracle for me at the time. I'm telling you, like, I, I never even thought about owning it, but season two. But I, I'm glad I do have it. I'm going to try to get that on uh, Blu-ray for sure. Uh, this is Justice League Unlimited as well, season one. Justice League Unlimited season two. Um, love the ending when Lex Luthor, like, goes into that that new world and he kind of like discovers like a new uh intelligence and stuff that that was pretty good you know batman fighting dark seed that, <laughs> that was just just insane but you gotta know if i got those two series you know there's no way in the world i could not have this right here batman the animated series my goodness matter of fact my um my 4k version is coming in the mail soon but i do got this on dvd i do plan on giving it to my son once I get the uh, the 4K, because he likes this uh, this series too. He's nine years old. He loves it. Don't tell him. Keep that between me and you. <laughs> Shout out to my son. But we got Volume One, Cla classic stuff, man. This is a genius show, man. Volume Volume Two, <laughs> Volume Three. Um, my second favorite cartoon of all time. Uh, number one is Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles is hard to beat. Uh, season Volume Four. Actually, these are all volumes, not seasons, but. I kind of look at them like seasons, but all right, let's get into the uh, little more of the movie round. Those was, um, I kind of got like a Batman shrine, uh, so to speak. <laughs> so that was kind of like in the shrine. Um, so I want to make sure I got that, but let's get into some of these movies. I'm going to grab like a bulk of them. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to get into it. Okay. We got, uh. We got two guns. Love this movie. Eight Heads in a Duffel Bag. A movie that's right up my alley. 
But you're going to know, notice that I got a lot of action, a lot of comedy. I am kind of a... I, I like horror a little bit. And believe it or not, my, my favorite genres is, is action, comedy. And I got a soft spot for teen dramas and teen comedies. I really... I really love them, man. It's crazy. I just had this newfound, like, love for them the last, like, 10, 15 years. I, I don't know where it came from. Um, I think I know where it started, but we'll talk about that another time. 500 Days of Summer. Um, awesome, awesome movie. Um, interesting uh, conclusion. That If you haven't seen that movie, that doesn't end the way you might think it's going to end. Back to the Future on Blu-ray. I do plan on getting that on uh, 4K. I just got a... Uh, Wait for the price to go down. That price is kind of hefty on that 4K. Baywatch, love this film. <laughs> Funny, some some good comedy. I love it, man. Uh, the Rock, here's the boy with the move that can fall into the uh, <laughs> into the water. The Batman, I think the second best Batman uh, ever created. I think we all know what the first one is. Batman Assault on Arkham. I know this might sound kind of wild, but this is actually like my second favorite animated Batman movie. Behind um under the red hood, Batman, uh, uh, Gotham at Gaslight. <laughs> um, I, I liked it. I just um, I think it wasn't my favorite. I just kind of think um, okay, yeah. I just kind of think like I think it could have been better. I think it could have been better, but I, I like. I didn't. I didn't love it. I, I liked it. That was a bit of a blind buy. Um. But there are some Batman animated like uh, movies that I don't love. I, I'm, I'm probably, if I don't love them or like them, I'm not gonna buy. I do like, I do like that one. Just, just didn't love it. This movie right here, the Belko experiment, whoo, in, insane. Mm, mm, mm. That, that's a, that's a scary one right there. That's a horror for real. <laughs> Beverly Hills Cop. I found this in a secondhand store called Second and Charles. Ironically. Found this for for five bucks. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I try to get movies and TV shows as cheap as I could possibly get them. Some stuff, if I really like it, I'll put money on it, but it's, it's rare. But I really got to step my collection up. I got Bumblebee right here. I love this movie. I love the girl. That, I forget the girl's name that's the star of the movie. I think it's Haley something. Um, yeah, Haley Steinfeld. I, I think she's awesome. It seems like everything she does, uh, I love it for some reason. Love this comedy, Central Intelligence. The way The Rock portrays being affected by people from his high school bullying him at, at when he was grown when they were in that office with Jason Bateman, him and Kevin Hart, I thought that was excellent, man. I've seen stuff like that happen in real life. Used to love this show as a kid, Chip and Dale, The Rescue Rangers. Got the complete series. Hey, this was only 25 bucks. I was like, yes, sir. I'll On Blu-ray? I said, yes, sir. I said, give me that all day. Coming to America, my wife's second favorite movie. Community. I got all six seasons on Blu-ray for, um, I believe I only paid like 35 bucks for it. It was a good deal. I called it at Best Buy, a good deal. I think the original price is like 69 I said, whew, let me get that. Cause I, I've only seen the first season of that show, but I love the first season. I'm actually on the last episode of the first season, but now I got it for uh, the physical copy. I can watch it whenever I want to. This is why I love physical media. First still book I'm going to show you guys, Creed 3. This is actually my favorite of the Creed series. Um, don't you just love that picture right there with his wife and his daughter? Hope that's not. Hope the glare ain't too bad. Wife and daughter. Wife holding them, daughter underneath them. You know, she gonna be next, you know. She coming through next, you know what I mean. So we gonna see, we gonna see what they do with that. You know, we have a creed for. I think that that cover is awesome. I, that that's that's great stuff right there. You just can't you can't beat it. And I got a I got a rare one right here. Um, apparently, this is a rare <laughs> movie. Um, from what I've been told, um, Cursed, probably the first scary movie you guys seen beside the Belko experiment. Um, this is the unrated version. Um, I love this movie. Um, I like the regular version better, but <laughs> the unrated version, it, it's fine. But um, it's it's a little gory, but the gory looks kind of silly <laughs> to me. Um, in that movie, but you know it's cool. But I like the movie though, and I love who's in it. I mean, this is like for me, this is like horror that I like. You know, kind of like a, a slasher, so to speak. You know, this is a werewolf 
And a lot of my favorite people that I loved in the 90s, Joshua Jackson, Sandy Elizabeth, uh, the girl from uh, uh, Christina Ritchie, of course, from Casper. The girl from, uh, what's that show that I love? Allie McBeal, she's in here. Maya's in here. So th this is like a, for me, this is like a gem. I love this right here. Slasher with, <laughs> with some people I love. And I think one of the few movies that Maya is in, so... Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I, I picked that up immediately. My favorite movie of all time, The Dark Knight. Oh, my goodness, man. It's the first 4K uh, video I picked up, and I paid full price for it. I feel like the movie is that. <laughs> I think the movie is that good, so I picked up full price for it. Up next, we got The Duff. I love this movie. I think it's a great comedy. That part where she licks him on that, uh, on that stone has me bagging up every time I watch it, but... I like this girl, uh, Mia Whitman. Hopefully, I'm saying her first name correctly. I like her. Bella Thorne's cool, but um, I, I love that she was um, able to get her own movie. Yeah, good stuff there. The Edge of Seventeen. That's a, that's my girl Haley again. Yeah, so she does she does it again, y'all. It's something about the way the way she portrays um, her character in this movie. Um, I'm not a girl, but I just feel like um, I understand her. Like, it's like, <laughs> it's like she, it's just something about the way she portrays this character, how she goes through the angst and, you know, is trying to figure out this, trying to figure out that. Um, I love Woody Harrelson's character, of course. Um, awesome, awesome film. It's another one right here that I love. My, the second still book I'm showing you guys, Equalizer 2. Um, I caught this one for the low. Um, I might not open every still, but there's actually nothing in here, really. Uh, that's like uh, <laughs> no pictures or nothing, but I think this is an awesome movie. I I, I love it, man. Um, that Equalizer series is one of my favorite for sure. The first Expendables. This uh, 4K, this is actually still book. This 4K transfer ain't the best. It's a little dark, um, but still watchable, but a little, little dark. This is only like 11 bucks at Best Buy, so I copped that. Still booked for the second one. This was also eleven bucks. <laughs> I haven't watched this yet, as far as like on this on a four K. But I've seen this movie. I love this one too. I love I love one, two, and three. I haven't seen four yet. Um, I wanted to catch it in the movie theaters, but I just didn't get um a chance to. And with one and two, we got three. I like the third one. I did like it. You know, I, I can't say I loved it as much as the first two. But I like the third one. I think the second one is my favorite with Van Damme at the, at the bad guy. I think that's my favorite one. But the first one definitely holds a special place in my heart. My little brother came through, gave me this one right here. Fatal Fury, the animated picture, the motion picture, um, animated movie. We were huge Fatal Fury fans when we were kids. My cousin Darius introduced me and my brother to it, and we've been in love um, with the game ever since. Uh, so to have this, this is... Um, this is special. This is special. This means uh, a, a lot to me and my brother. It's funny because my uncle Isaac, he just, this is back when VHS was popular. He threw it, He threw the VHS on our bed one day and said, watch it. We watched it. It was this. We didn't know what the VHS was. It was this movie. We fell in love with it. Um, great, great stuff, man. I, I'm, luck, I'm lucky to have it, man. Um, I just happen to have the greatest little brother ever. So, you know, that just is what it is. <laughs> Fatal, uh, not Fatal Fairy, but uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I seen this movie um, a little bit later. Um, this, this is a steel book. I, I caught this at Fye for, for fifteen bucks. Uh, Ferris Bueller, Bueller um, one of my favorite like teen comedies, of course. And you know, they got some good stuff in here. They got a nice picture in the back of the three main characters. That's that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean. I don't think I got to say much about this. It's just, it's just a classic. It's just a flat out classic. It's something I, I try to watch at least like once every two years, once a year sometimes, depending on how I'm feeling. Fool's Gold. I <laughs> love this movie. Uh, good, good comedy there. You know, good, good stuff there. Some good comedy. Friday, my third favorite movie of all time. Um, this is actually the director's cut. <laughs> and I didn't even know the director's cut has so many different things from the regular cut. So that was interesting to see. Uh, one of the greatest movies ever created right here, Good Will Hunting. Um, love, love this movie. This movie is a is a straight-up classic. It's not even debatable. Um, just, man, just good stuff right here, man. I, I love when Ben Affleck you know, tells Matt Damon's character, like, man, if you're still here in 10 years, i kill you, man. <laughs> I like that. Um, I like that scene right there. And uh, right here, we got Gran Turismo. This movie is 
low key outstanding. I'm not in love with the steel book cover. This is another steel book. Um, I paid some good money for this one. I ain't gonna lie, uh, because I, I love the movie. But I don't think there's anything too special as far as uh, okay. You do got the boy's face right here, which is pretty cool. Like, he did a good job. This is a great movie. This is probably you can argue maybe with, with the exception of maybe Mario. This is this might be the best video game movie ever. The Mario and the Sonics are pretty tough, uh, especially for someone like me. I grew up on Mario and Sonic, so I, I love them. That's, so it's gonna be tough for me to put them over them. Um, but Gran Turismo, this is. This is good. The way they did this movie, I, I just the great stuff. Outstanding. All right, the next the next batch, if I can get it out. <laughs> okay. We got the Hangover right there. Hangover three. I don't have part two because part two is so similar. To part one, I don't see the point of getting it. Hell and Kumar, the one and two. I'm not going to get three because I didn't think three was that good. But the Hell and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay. Oh my goodness! I watched that movie so many times and just was bagging up. Hidden Figures, a classic. I love this movie. I love the betrayal of these three women. Um, they did an outstanding job. Kevin Costner did a great job. And then I, I just I just love that movie. That's a movie I could probably just watch over and over again because of those the way those three ladies portray that story is just awesome. Um, another still this is probably the second still book I ever bought. One of my favorite covers. I like that picture of Statham and Rock. You know the Rock. <laughs> you know just uh, sitting on their car. I think it's an excellent picture. I don't think there's anything special on the inside. Nah, it's just uh it just Hobbs and Shaw. Shaw just the names, and you got their um, you know pictures and faded. Um, behind the names, but uh, but this is, this movie is probably one of the, the greatest action movies like ever, man. Like I'm telling, like like if you look at action movies, like as a whole, and as far as as much action as you can cram into one movie, I don't think <laughs> there's more action in any movie than that one. I swear, Horrible Bosses, I love it. Uh, I think you could call that one a classic. <laughs> I love that movie. And I also love Beth Cooper. I love you, Beth Cooper. I, I love this movie, man. I, I like how it ended. I think it was a um, a good, realistic ending. I, I kind of wish she would have did more wild stuff to him. <laughs> I think, you know, maybe Hayden Penitentiary might have been, she might have been a tad bit too popular because she couldn't get too wild, I guess. But then again, they, she could have did more stuff, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know, man, like stuff like, like, you know, they, they did go into a, a school and stuff like that. I just think she could have did more stuff. They should have had, like, two or three more scenes where she was doing something wild to him. It would have been a perfect movie, but I still like it anyway. Inside Man, classic, outstanding movie. Great stuff right there. My goodness. IP Man, 4K, classic. Got this for $10. You know, great stuff. IP Man 2, amazing. Amazing film. The third one, IP Man, another good one. This one got Mike Tyson in it, actually. That's that's interesting. I don't have the fourth one. I'm going to get it on 4K when I get a chance to. I actually think the fourth one is my favorite one, actually, ironically. But we got John Wick classic right here. Oh, my goodness, man. One of the best movies ever, action movies ever. Part two, amazing. A Blind Buy. I hadn't seen it, so I bought it and watched it. Loved it. Another blind buy right here. John Wick 3. I uh, loved it. Kiss of the Dragon. But I've seen this on Blu-ray. I said, yes, sir. I said, yes, sir. Got to get this, man. Got to get me a Jet Li film, man. Um, there's a couple more that I want to get. I want to get uh, Romeo Must Die. That's one that I really like. <laughs> Not as good as Kiss the Dragon, but I like it. You know, we all got our particular thing that we like. Kong Scar Island. I think out of this Godzilla, um, Godzilla versus Kong, I think this is the best one for sure. I, I I love this film. I think this film is awesome. I watch it at least like once a year. Got some got some goodies here, y'all. Got some goodies. Kung Fu Panda Two, the best one to me. I don't got uh one yet because it's having uh found it for the low, but. I will one day. I will get one. Um, I like all three of them. I got, you know, Comfort Painted 3 right here for like $4. I 
on Blu-ray. Um, I'm scared that, you know, they're making a part four. I'm scared of them making this part four. I really, I really don't want them to make this part four, but they're going to make it. I'm, I'm going to watch it. I'm probably going to take my son to see it. My wife's favorite movie, a classic. If you don't have this in your collection, um, you know what? I'm not going to judge anybody's collection, but this was a must-have in my collection. My wife's favorite movie. And this was one of those movies, man, where, I, like, he just made you feel like you could overcome anything. The message in this movie is amazing. I love it, man. Show Nuff, Lion King, instant classic. Lottery ticket, love it. Nice comedy. That scene with Bow Wow and the Bull Boy was on the roof. Y'all know each other. Awesome stuff. The mask. Oh, my goodness. I, I, when, when I seen this on Blu-ray, I couldn't even believe it. This movie, I'm going to talk about these movies individually and what all these movies mean to me. But, man, this me and this movie go, it, me and this movie go back. It's deep with this one. Mortal Kombat. I think you guys are going to love the story <laughs> when I tell you guys about um, this one, Mortal Kombat, the first one. I was shocked it was on Blu-ray. I seen it uh, in Second and Charles on Blu-ray for like eight bucks. I had, I had to, I had to grab that. That was a must grab. Ninja Turtles. I, I love this one. I know a lot of people didn't like this one. I love this one. Out of the Shadows was okay. Um, but that that scene where they're going down that cliff in this one, oh my goodness, my favorite scene out of both of them. Out of the shower, shadow. This was okay. They could have did this better. I wanted more action. It wasn't enough action. It was interesting to see the pizza thrower though. That was also one of my favorite parts. But I wanted more action out of that one. But I, I, I suck. I'll cop it on Blu-ray. It wasn't. It wasn't too bad to me. Next batch. Got some good stuff here, y'all. Oh my goodness, Jennifer. Uh, this. I just, Sometimes I forget how funny this lady is, man. Jennifer Lawrence, I couldn't think of her last name. I, this, <laughs> that part where she said, yeah, man, yeah, it might hurt. <laughs> Someone, like, put that clip on TikTok. Because they're a genius, they put that clip on TikTok. I watched that clip about 800 times funny. Out of time. Um, probably my favorite Denzel movie. Probably. Um, there's one that I don't have that... um. I guess I kind of can't put over it, so to speak, but, well, I, I guess I will put over it, I guess, but I'm still thinking on that. Paper Towns. The beginning of, that, of this movie, you know, where she, like, takes them on that little adventure, um, I, I thought that was really dope. But, uh, but it's a good movie. It's it's an interesting movie. We'll talk about it more in depth one day. Uh, the Last Wish, Puss in Boots. Amazing. I really wanted to get this on 4K, but it was so high. But then I seen, like, a cheap um, Blu-ray in the Walmart. I said, man, let me, let me just go ahead and cop the Blu-ray. Ready Player One. A lot of people didn't like this, but I, I like this. This, but like, If I was to make a movie, it would probably be like this. To be honest. I like this movie. I like how they had to get the three keys. It, it was it was like, like a simple uh, 90s kind of plot. I tried to take the thing off there, as you can see. If I take that off, but that was a challenge, so I left it alone. I might try to get it again one day. Classic right here. Love this movie. I just watched this the other day. Road trip. <laughs> when they decide they're going on a road trip, Sean William Scott's character, the way he looks at um, Reckonmeyer, Burke, is it Burke, Berkenmeyer? Oh my, Brett, Brett something. I forget his uh, last name. The way he looks at him and says road trip. Oh my goodness. Every time, we do, every time I see that scene, I, I'll be bagging up. One of my favorite uh, Disney movies as far as the animation. Uh, Robin Hood, a top five. Love that part where the little boy wants to participate. He shoots his arrow, but he can't quite get it, get it there. So Robin Hood helps him out, shoots his arrow, <laughs> and the little boy cheers like he did something. I, I think that's awesome. That's probably something I would do uh, if I was in that situation. Safe house. Love it. Uh, we got another batch here. I couldn't believe... I got this in Steelbook. No Way Home. My favorite Spider-Man movie. I never thought there would be a movie. A Spider-Man movie I put over Spider-Man 2. Sam Rainey's version. But this movie here. Nothing really special in the Steelbook. And I got it on Steelbook too. I was like, oh my goodness. I think it was like 25 bucks. I said, yes, bring that, bring that home. Bring that home, please. Sonic. Woo, so glad I got that. I love this movie. I'm glad they made a good Sonic movie. My goodness, man. He just got Sonic on the end. 
side there. Man, I'm glad they make a good Sonic. I, I was like, you know what? They made one good Sonic movie. I'm good. I don't need another one. But they made another one. Look at that cover right there. That's one of my favorite steel books right there. I think this is my this might be my first favorite steel book cover. If you played the game back in the day for Sega, you know. If you know, you know. And then on, on the back, you got you had the boy Knuckles versus Sonic. I like their battle. Yeah, I think there was a point where there might have been too much too many humans uh doing too much conversating a little bit, but um it, it, it's so it was okay. It, that, the human part was okay. I thought they could have had less of that. At least they should have had more. I think they should have had more of the. Uh, okay, they got Knuckles and uh, Robotnik right there. They should have had more of the two main human characters talking versus uh, uh old girl sister and uh, Shamar Moore. I like Shamar Moore. I think he's awesome, but you know, I, I didn't. I didn't need to see him for ten minutes, man. <laughs> Not in this movie. Super bad. When I seen that in the movie theater, at the end of the movie, everybody was clapping. It was amazing. Superman, Batman, Public Enemy. Love it. Superman the versus the Elite. Love it. I think it was, think it was really good. That was actually a blind buy, but I, I loved it. Terminator 2. Caught this in the... The 4K transfer on this is amazing. Caught this in... Um, not FYE, but Best Buy for, uh, I'm having too much fun doing this, I swear. Um, caught this in the Best Buy for like 10 bucks. That's like 4K, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. When I talk about that movie, I might need a whole hour to talk about that one. <laughs> Toy Story. Caught the Steelbook Toy Story for 20 bucks. Oh my God. This is, I think this is 4K too. Yep, 4K. 4K. I'm like, okay. Uh, let's see if they got anything special here. They got the buzz like here, right? Like yeah, right there. You know, cool. Classic one, two, and three. I'm going to get. I don't have two and three yet, but I'm going to get two and three for sure. Um, even if it's just on Blu-ray. Um, I'm not getting four. <laughs> Transporter, awesome. Love me some Jason Jason Statham. Transporter 2. I actually seen this one before I seen the first one, believe it or not. Um, we saw that one in the movie theater, and that was the day I fell in love with Jason Statham. Transporter 2. Triple Threat, um, a low-key, really good action film. Um, Michael J. White, uh, one of my favorite action um, stars right now. Between him and The Rock and Jason Statham, they're my, my three favorite. He's in this one, but he's actually a villain in this one. This one's pretty good. This is good. And it got a lot of your... Uh, a lot of your favorite, if you if you're in the martial arts uh, action film, they got a lot of your favorites in this one. Um, I, I love this film. I I seen it in Fye for five dollars. I couldn't believe I couldn't even believe it was in Fye. I was like, oh okay, um, I'll take it. Trouble with the curve, classic. <laughs> a really good film. Maybe maybe not a classic, but really good classic in my mind. The first DVD I'm showing you guys, what love is. The way they try to figure out what love is in this film, I thought it was a. a a pretty good portrayal. Love, uh, love Cuba Gooding Jr. Love me some uh, Gina Gerson. She was actually in this um, TV show back in the day with Paul J. Parker. It only lasted one. Uh, I think it was called Snoop. It only lasted one season. I was I was pretty interested in it. Um, love um, um, Annie, um, Matthew Lillard. Love them. Tamela Jones. I think I had a little bit of a crush on her ever, ever since the movie Booty Call, but. But yeah, another TV series. <laughs> I got the complete series. Um, uh, where on earth is Carmen San Diego? Complete. I couldn't believe I got the complete series. Um, I'm 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 watching I'm watching it with my kids now. They love it. Um, uh, my son, he's loving learning about um, places around the world, and uh, this is some good stuff here, man. If you love this, we we friends, man. If we, <laughs> we a team. If you love this classic Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, man. Um, I don't know how you how you get better than that um, right there. And we got one more bin, and then we're going to get you guys up out of here. We're going to get up out of here. I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. You know, I'm having a great time. I could talk about movies all day and why I love them and all that. Like, all day, like, for real. Okay. All right. We actually, uh, okay. Got another stack right here. Put that right there. All right. 
So we got Batman, Mystery of the Batwoman. Just watched this uh, with my kids the other day. Uh, my son, my son gave it a nine. So that means that means he likes this. That means it's pretty good if he gives it a nine. Um, he's not above giving something a five. <laughs> the Burbs. Oh my goodness, man! Love this classic. Good stuff there. My brother once again coming through, giving me a case closed. I love this anime right here. Giving me a case closed uh, movie. Um, this one's not bad. The, the Darkest Nightmare. He gave me this one. The Crimson Love Letter, my least favorite of the of the movies um, that he gave me. He gave me those two, but the uh, the dark the Darkest Nightmare. That was that was actually pretty good. The Darkest Nightmare. Okay, we got some more case closed movies. This is on DVD. Uh, the Time Bomb um, Skyscraper. You know, good stuff here. Uh, I loved it. I think it's the first case closed movie ever came out. The second one, uh, the Fourteenth Target. Love that. My favorite one right here, the third one, The Last Wizard of the Century. I looked on, because uh, I thought I had lost it, so I looked on uh, on Amazon and eBay to see how much it cost. It was like uh, $172. I was like, oh, okay, I ain't no people looking for it like that. The third one, Captured in Her Eye. We got the fifth one right here. Countdown to Heaven. Now they put these in the English dub like years ago. This was years ago when they did it. And the last one, uh, The Phantom of Baker Street. Not bad. Um, the last two are not bad, but the first the first four are, re are really good. And now we also have the Case Closed series, the actual series, the TV show series, um, season one. If this comes on Blu-ray, I'm definitely getting it. <laughs> These are the only ones that came to America. And this is season two. Love this show. As soon as they came out, this is actually, this is actually the second time I bought them because they came out just on like regular, like um, like one, it wasn't a whole set. It was just like one uh, DVD. And they came out with like three or four episodes on each one. But when they dropped these, I bought these imme immediately. Season three right there. Two more as far as the case closed. We got season four. And season five, the third season is my favorite because it's the first time he meets the Phantom Thief kid. Um, awesome uh, episode there. So we got a few more things. We almost we almost done. Corella, awesome flick here. Um, they had this in Second of Charles for eight bucks, four K and the Blu Ray. I was like, okay, and I, and I love that movie. I said, yeah, I'll take it. Eraser, a nice little, uh, <laughs> nice little action banger right there. <laughs> Focus, love this film. First time I seen Margot Robbie, Gran Turismo, love it, man. I, I've been watching Clint Eastwood for a long time. Who knew that I was gonna love his movies more, even when he, he got older? I'm like, wow, this is kind of kind of wild. Uh, Doom, when Batman says he ain't, ain't in the mood for niceties. <laughs> if you know, you know. The Last Stand, love this right here, man. Awesome, awesome flick, man. This, you know, your, your basic uh, Arnold flick. You know, some knuckleheads is coming to town, and he rounds up a you know a couple couple people to help save the town. It's it's, it's some good stuff, man. It's it's a movie like right up my alley. Looney Tunes. This actually. Um, see, I let my kids hold it for a minute when they were younger, and they kind of lost some of my my uh, spotlight collection. But the ones that I do have, so you'll see they're two different colors right here, and uh, these are from different spotlight collections. But these have my favorite uh, episodes on them, so it's like that for this one too. So I just uh, kept. I just kept doing, I just kept, you know, whatever ones was my favorites, I just kept them on. My, uh, kept, I kept them in here and just put them in here. I think you gotta get the gist of what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, almost done. All right, um, let's see what we got here. Okay. All right, we got Lupin ver the third versus Detective Conan, my boy Conan again. Getting in, getting in, in some trouble. 
Parker, love this film. Jason Statham once again. J Lo, uh, doing their thing. She's out of my league. Uh, <laughs> this one actually has a dent in it. If I would have seen that dent, I probably wouldn't have bought this, but I already have it now. And it was only like five bucks, so not nothing to get too too wild about. Um, I played it, and the movie still plays well, so you know it's fine. I like I like to have my movies. You know, somewhat clean. I, I do look at all that, you know, even if it's set from a secondhand store. <laughs> I still like to have them clean. TMNT, the 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 lesson that Master Splinter teaches Raphael in this movie. Uh, really good stuff there. Love love that movie. I remember when it came out at the movie theater. Me and my brother was like shocked that it was out. We were like, oh okay, we're gonna watch this. Whatever it takes. Now, another DVD. Very rare. I have a DVD. Um, in my collection these days because I've been collecting them late. But this one's um this one's probably not going to uh <laughs> you're probably not gonna find this on uh Blu-ray ever. It's probably never coming to Blu-ray. So I'm keeping it on DVD. You know, I'm not above getting DVDs for sure. Um and that's my collection. I actually got more movies, but I don't got the cases for them. So when I find my cases for those movies, I'll get I'll show you guys those movies. Um every month I'll try to do a um a movie haul where I show you guys all the movies I bought within that month. Um, so next March, uh, we're gonna try to um, we're gonna try to do a haul. You know, we're gonna try to do a haul and see all the movies that I bought within that month, movies and TV series. And um, we're gonna have a good time, man. I'm gonna do like um, like every movie that you guys see on here. I'm gonna like do give you guys a backstory on my history with the movie and what it means to me. I think I think that's gonna be fun. I think you guys are gonna love that. I'll do movie reviews on movies that I see in the movie theater. Um, or if you guys got a request for a movie a review that you guys want me to review, I'll do that as well. I have no problem with that. Um, you know, I, I used to play a lot of Madden, but this is a, a different turn. I'm still going to play Madden. If you're into my uh, Madden channel, you can just type in Launchpad 1412. And I'll still do Madden, but um, this is something that's right up my alley right here. And uh, I'm glad that this... Um, this um, maybe what you would call, I guess this group of people <laughs> exists. It's, yeah, this, this group exists. So again, you, you got a lot of you guys that did your, your, um, your collection videos. You guys really motivated me to, to do this channel for real. And a shout out to you guys. I watch all of y'all to be honest, your boy.